Hi, welcome to Nutrition at Noon. We're just going to give a couple of minutes for our guests to sign in. And um, we're talking about Mother's Day today. So of course, I'm thinking about parties and guests. So thank you to our participants and guests today. We'll be getting started in just a minute. Okay, while we're waiting for everyone to join us, I just wanted to say welcome and do a little bit of housekeeping. If this is your first time joining us at Nutrition at Noon, welcome. We are so glad you're here. Um, just know that we can't see or hear anything, so you are good to go. Don't even worry about that. And if you are coming back, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Today, we're gonna to be talking about ways that we can celebrate mom online. And of course, not just mom, all of those really special women in our lives. So we're gonna get started in just a couple of seconds. We will be doing a 10 minute presentation. We're gonna be talking about our challenge that we have going on real quick at the end and showing off some ways that we're staying engaged. And then we're gonna allow time for questions. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so these are the people that I'm gonna be celebrating on Sunday and the people that I hope are gonna be celebrating me. <laughs> so that's my grandma Jean, she's not with us anymore, but she is so with me in spirit. Um, I remember most about her is her, um, is her cooking and every time she pulls out a cast iron skillet and, and started to do things in the kitchen, I now have a cast iron skillet and it makes me think of her. And of course, my mom and her sisters, Aunt Pam and Aunt Sherry, who you know definitely taught me that family gathering and eating is, is really one of the most special things that we can do together. And then of course, my boys, um, I'm gonna show them then back when they were in school and would always give me Mother's Day presents and gifts and cards because you know their teachers made them do it. But that's them now, they're a little bit older. They probably don't even know Mother's Day is on Sunday. So if any of you know them, please tell them to send their mother a card or something. Um, so let's move on now. So there's a lot of reasons that we all celebrate Mother's Day, but the big one really is just to give that gratitude. And Mother's Day really should be Women's Day too, right? Because it's not just the mothers we celebrate. We celebrate so many different types of women that contribute to our lives. It could be a mom, a grandma, an aunt, maybe it's a neighbor or someone at your church or even a teacher that you remember growing up with who really helped you along the way. So this is the one day where we express that gratitude and thanks. And we kind of put it under Mother's Day, but you know, again, it could be any type of woman in your life that's really been helpful. But how do we celebrate Mother's Day, right? Things have changed a little bit over the last couple of weeks. And hopefully we have some ideas that are gonna really help you to keep that spirit. So traditional Mother's Day, right? Brunch, people come over, you bring flowers and gifts, you gather together and you share stories and you laugh. Um, really the big thing, again, I said before in my family, we all gather, but really the focal point is that food, right? Where we would have something lovely and, and brunch really seems to be the meal for Mother's Day, right? We have a blog that um, covers a lot of different topics, but I do healthy eating on a budget. And I even did brunch on a budget for Mother's Day because, you know, it's brunch. Brunch and mom go together. But how do we do all of this, especially that eating part, right? When you're physically not in the same room and you might have to do it in, you know, from six feet away. So let's talk about how do we celebrate Mother's Day from six feet away, right? We can still do brunch. We can still have that food. We can still do flowers. Like if you live nearby giant, go grab flowers and drop them off to mom. You can do virtual gifts. Amazon's still delivering. And of course, you can gather online. And we're gonna go into some different ways that you can gather online. And that's really what we wanna focus on is how do we make that day special, six feet away, or maybe even further if you're online. So the trick is, well, just keep it special. You know, I don't wanna hear that any of you Sunday morning got up, 
pulled out your phone and said, meet me online in five minutes. No, let's not do that. Let's keep it special, right? So the way you do that is to make it a little bit more formal, right? If you were having a traditional Mother's Day, you wouldn't just show up on mom's doorstep and say, okay, let's do something. No, you plan it. So we wanna plan this Mother's Day as well. So start with an invitation and make it a little bit more formal than, hey, jump online at 10 via text, right? So send an invitation and you can do that if you're local, maybe a drop off a handwritten invitation, maybe the kids draw it. Um, you know, even if you don't have kids and you're, you want to get together with someone special in your life, everyone loves a handwritten note, right? Maybe you're a TikTok family and you love doing these videos on Instagram. Well, send a video and say, hey, we'd love to see you on Mother's Day. You know, you could even send an email. So Evite and Hobnob even have ways that you can do this. So that one you see right there on your screen actually came from Evite. And it's beautiful, right? It's definitely something that's going to make her day. And you can even include the link in there so she can just click right on over. Now, after you do all this, you want to set the video stage, right? Again, traditional Mother's Day, she doesn't just show up at your door for brunch and you're like, oh, I haven't done anything here. No, you've probably set the table. You've probably dressed a certain way so that you look good, right? Maybe your Sunday best. You're not wearing your sweatpants. You've done your hair. You know, you're not wearing a baseball hat. So really set that stage. Maybe add some flowers. If you've got kids, have them, you know, put some things in the background. So, you know, like up here on this side, maybe there's some signs or maybe some flowers. But really make sure that that visual that your mom or special guest gets is inviting and shows that it's a special day. The next thing, you know, share those meals. You know, this is such a central part of how we spend that day. So maybe if your mom loves to cook, cook together. You know, pull out those favorite family recipes, maybe try something new. So we just released these on Savory Online, these little quiches and tiramisu cups. You know, if mom likes to cook, this might be fun for her to try something new. Maybe you, she wants to share with you a recipe that, you know, has been throughout the family. And again, that's a great way to do that together. Now, if she is out and about and is going to those early hours to get her grocery shopping in, she can grab those groceries. Maybe you send them to her, you know. If you aren't local and can't use giant pickup or giant delivers, guess what? All of those grocery stores out in the Midwest, they do that too. I mean, probably not as good, but they do it. <laughs> so get them to deliver those ingredients for her. Or if you're nearby, you pick them up and you drop them off. So that's a way that you can cook together. But there are some moms and friends that, you know, they don't like to cook and that's great too. It's their special day. They get to call. So maybe deliver one of their favorite meals. If you're local, make it and drop it off. Again, restaurants all over the country are looking for ways to stay sustainable um, through all of this situation themselves. So have them deliver a meal to her. And when all else fails, just include on your menu or your invitation, we're gonna eat at 10. You do what you wanna do, we're gonna do what we're gonna do, but let's just eat. And if that's the case, well, set the table. Really make it beautiful, put the flowers there, you know, put your laptop where the guest of honor is going to be and just sit there and enjoy that time together. And, you know, if you can't see what the other person's eating, you know, we love to talk about food, so you can definitely share that as well. Of course, we want to share the love, right? Sharing the love is a part of that day. And what I showed you earlier was a PowerPoint slide. And if you've got anyone in your house over the age of eight, they're already an expert at this. So this is their job between now and Sunday is to pull together a virtual scrapbook that you can share. Maybe, you know, maybe you aren't going to um, do a virtual scrapbook. Maybe you're old school or maybe you just, you know, if that's not your thing, we'll pull out the old pictures. You can say like, oh, do you remember when Cole was, do you remember when Cole was so little and he used to bring his mom, you know, flowers from the garden and cards at Mother's Day, yeah, remember that? Or maybe you wanna, you know, say something about like the grandmoms, like, oh, do you remember Grandma Jean and Grandma Chris and how they used to make the best ham or they made this best thing? That's what we wanna do is share the love and those memories. You know, you can also get your kids to show off their talents, right? All of our kids are talented in their own ways, some more than others. 
Sabrina, who supports our nutritionist team. Her daughter is amazing, and I wish she, she could come to everyone's house. But maybe you have someone more like Michael here, who you know just likes to strum, you know, his guitar. It doesn't matter. Kids love to entertain, and let's face it, they're going to be bored anyway, sitting in front of the computer for a long time. So give them something to do. Hey, guess what? When you're done that scrapbook, you're going to have to perform for five minutes. So maybe work on that. If you want to take it up a notch, maybe you like a good challenge, right? Maybe you're like, oh, give me a challenge. I've been on Zoom and I know how to work those backgrounds. Well, then instead of just doing a simple garden party and dressing up, make a complex, maybe make it tropical. I think mom would love a trip maybe to Aruba, you know, pina coladas could be your theme. Um, maybe you want to make it more, you know, interstellar and you can go with a backdrop that's, you know, outer space. Now I know that you're, you know, guest of honor and your mother may not want to dress up like a space alien, but odds are your five-year-old does. They're looking for a challenge too. So this might be something fun for them. So you can set up the virtual background. Maybe you do old school and you do drawings and your kids can figure that out. Wear costumes and play music, you know, make the foods kind of themed. Now, if this is your jam, Kristen is going to do a theme thing on Friday for Nutrition at Noon, so tune in for that and that's going to give you some good suggestions. Maybe it's an activity if you want to take it up a notch. You know, how funny would it be to log in and be like, hey, welcome to, you know, cooking for grams. And kids, again, they love to perform. So if you have little actors in your house, go ahead. Now, my boyfriend's mom thinks he and I are hilarious. I think she would love to watch us in a, you know, a 20-minute cooking demo. So this isn't just limited to the kids. People want to be entertained, so entertain them. You know, or maybe you want to play a game. So you could do bingo or charades. Some of these online platforms even have games built in. So that's going to be really fun for you. Maybe it's a craft, right? Kids love crafts. This is something you might have to do in advance and drop off. But again, painting picture frames and flower pots, whatever it is. You know, maybe it's food focus, like do your own version of chopped. Okay, here's your five ingredients we dropped off and here's our five ingredients. Go. Um, maybe it's just a plain old fashioned cookie or cupcake decorating thing. Or maybe you're like, kids, I don't want to do anything with kids. It's just me and my girlfriends. We want to celebrate being moms and we want to relax. Maybe have a spa day. And that's something you can do that Leslie is going to talk about tomorrow. So again, lots of different ways that you can celebrate. And there are a lot of different platforms you can celebrate on. So depending on what your level of expertise are, figure out which one works best for you. If you're gonna have multiple users, maybe think about doing Zoom or Skype. If you wanna do something more traditional, it's just one-on-one -on -one, you know, with you and mom, like two different houses. Well, you, know, you could probably use almost any platform. So do a little bit exploring on that. And of course, look for other resources. So we have lots of resources. Those great Mother's Day recipes can found at, be found at Savory, and there's like a ton of ideas in there. Again, our Nutrition at Noon for the next two days, whether it's a spa day or it's a theme, it's gonna be a really great choice for you. Our blogs have that whole Mother's Day spread that you can do on a budget. And we even have a podcast where we have some members of the Giant family talking about how their moms influence their overall eating and their palate. So really there's lots of fun ways to figure out something new to do with mom for um, Mother's Day, or again, maybe it's your best girlfriend. And of course, this is our weekly challenge. If you haven't heard about it, we are doing something called Healthy at Home, the giant food challenge, and we just started, so it's not too late to be a part of it. So for week one, the challenge is, yep, eat more vegetables and do a 10 minute stretch. So we want you to do those things, then show us how you're doing that at home with the hashtags Giant Food Challenge and Healthy at Home. And if you tag at Giant, we might be able to repost you as well. So you might be able to look for that. But until then, here's some special ways that we've already been starting to show up online. We're on Twitter and Facebook, Instagram. Like look at Leslie there. She's showing you one of her Hug the Beach Ball, one of the stretches for this week. And Lindsay's got some great Cinco de Mayo, but showing how to get more vegetables on your plate. So think about ways that you can do this and then tag us online because we want to see how you're being healthy at home. And now the best part of the uh, presentation questions. Let's see if anyone has any questions for us today. Let's see, whoops, sorry about that. There we go, questions. Ah, someone 
said, where does, where does you and your boyfriend's cooking show debut? I have a feeling that might be someone I know, but you know, someday we'll have our own channel, I think. <laughs> All right, so some of the other questions I get is where's a good place to get um, recipe inspiration? And I did refer to Savory before. Savory is a really great option because you can search you know, using a couple of different ways. You can search for Mother's Day brunch, which there's over 15 different recipes there. Maybe it's a certain thing that you like to cook together. Maybe it's cookies. Maybe it's going to be something that's really great, um, you know, that you can throw in the crock pots together. Really, whatever you want to do, you can actually search that way. So let's see what else I have here. Um, someone else said, how can I find games to play online? So actually, I love that question because um, that's what I did. I was like, how do I find those? I literally typed into Google, um, what are some games I can play on Zoom or what are some games that I can play online? And those popped up. But as a rule, the things that are going to work best are going to be the ones, obviously, where you can do more of a, um, a question and answer kind of thing. So that's probably going to be most helpful. Our team did some charades, which was really fun. We had someone who was in charge of picking the items, and then she would text out, that was Kristen, um, what those items were. So that kind of made it fun because then we could, um, you know, still be all together, but then have these funny little entertaining things. And again, we like to be entertained, so this was a really great way to be entertained. Okay, well, that looks like all of the uh, questions that we have for today today. Remember, you can sign up for our weekly challenge at nutrition at giantfood.com. You can reach out to any of us that way. And of course, all of these are recorded for later. So if you want to share this with someone else, you can always go to giantfood.com slash nutrition. And under our events link, you can see all of our previous nutrition at noon. So definitely check that out. Well, thank you so much. Stay well and hope to see you online at hashtag Healthy at home, hashtag giant food challenge. See you later.